Today I'm competing in my first 15k event in Antalya on clay. Now I recently transitioned from hard courts to clay courts and what better way to do that than a Moratoglu Academy. I practiced there for a week on the clay with my coach, working on loads of specific things, specifically movement, volleys, serves, and really getting a feel for the courts. I then headed over to Antalya in Turkey to try my luck in the 15k singles qualifying draw to hopefully qualify and get some more ATP points. Let's find out how it went. Good morning guys, today I'm here in Antalya, Turkey. Today's the first round of qualies. I'm back again. Last year I played for three weeks. I played with Simon Freund in the doubles for two weeks. I've had a good training week at Moratoglu with my coach, so I'm really looking forward to using some of the stuff we practice there in action. But now it's breakfast time. I'm gonna head over there and get some breakfast in. Breakfast this morning was at 9 a.m. Had a lot of eggs for protein, some cereal as well. Just wanted to make sure that I was getting all of my nutrients in in the morning. In Antalya, there wasn't too much selection for breakfast, so don't criticize me for not being the healthiest. But let's take a look at what's in my bag for my match to come. All right, so we've got my tennis shoes in here. Gotta pack some water. Sun cream, super important. I usually just whack these in the side pouches. Two more waters just in case I need them. This has all of my medical equipment in it. So, you know, you've got some like ice spray, some deep freeze spray, stuff like that. And then we've got my spare pair of kind of clothes and stuff. Spare t-shirts, uh, wristbands, stuff like that. Of course, you're gonna need a towel. In the ITF tournaments, you have to have an unbranded towel. Some grips, some bands for my warm-up exercises. And obviously, hydration is a super important factor in these tournaments. So I've got Science and Sport Beta Fuel Gel. So this is 46 grams of carbs, fast acting, which will go straight into the system. I'll also try and pick up a banana on the way. And then for some recovery afterwards, I've picked up this cherry juice, which is supposed to be pretty good after a match to help like blood flow and stuff. And yeah, of course, the final thing is my rackets. 11 a.m. was time for practice. These practice courts were pretty interesting. There are a lot of holes, bad bounces, so it wasn't great for rhythm, but obviously it's more important to hit than not to hit. We went through the basics. Usually I'd try and aim for about 20 to 30 minutes as a warm-up hit. I don't want to do too much stuff and make it too intense, but obviously I want to make sure that I'm kind of feeding my shots. So you can see me here hitting with Jamie, who I was with during the week. Or of course, warming up volleys, ground strokes, smashes, and some serves and some points as well. Yes, guys, so the match on before me has just gone to a third set, so I've got a lot longer than I actually thought. So I'm gonna head to lunch, get a small bite to eat, and then kind of do another warm up. That's one of the hardest things about these futures is you never really know when you're playing, and they're playing a full third set, so I'm pretty much warmed up, I'm ready to go. And now I've got to cool down, re-warm up again, because that set could easily be another hour. In the first round, I was playing against a Turkish player who was only 17 years old and ranked around 400 in the ITF junior system. He hadn't played many men's events, so it was going to be exciting to see what he could put out on the court. I always make sure not to underestimate these opponents, because you never know what the level's going to be like. But this one was a bit of a battle. Yes, guys, so I managed to win my first match. It was a tough one. For me, uh, I was a little bit up and down. I had my moments where I played good, where I maybe didn't really expect the difficulty of the clay, and he played well. But I managed to tough it out in a third set break. I was happy with my performance. I'm gonna go have some lunch and refuel for tomorrow. Let's keep keep the winds coming. Let's go. In round two, I was to pace another Turk, Mert Alkaya. He was ranked around 1450 ATP, being as high as 1100. And he also had a doubles ranking of around 950 in the world. So definitely a tough test. So jumping straight into this match, I could tell kind of from the first few points, this match was going to be a little bit of a shaky start. And my opponent came out of the blocks firing. He was feeding the ball really well, moving me around the court. And I was still getting used to the clay a little bit. I definitely managed, obviously, to hold my first service game. But from that point onwards, I really kind of began to struggle just with the way that the ball was moving. As you can see there, just me sliding, kind of putting that ball into the net. I was just trying to find my footing a little bit. And I think that throughout the match, that became better and better. But obviously, at the beginning, it's something that I really was battling with. I was missing quite a lot of balls that I wouldn't usually miss. I think I was trying to go for a little bit too much because I was a little bit impatient. And that was kind of causing a little bit of kind of self-doubt and a little bit of unconfidence, which is going to mean that it's basically a cycle. So you kind of then begin to miss even more. So I really had to just try and stay kind of concentrated and focused and focus on every single point and just try and see what I could make from the set. But partially my mind was already focused on the second set.
And here in the second set, I had a big focus on trying to play the game on my terms. Me being the one dictating, me putting the serves in, and I definitely had a much more aggressive mindset. I really think that that began to pay off as this set carried on. And here at Breakpoint Me, I probably hit one of the craziest returns I've ever hit. So this set I obviously played much better, it was a, a bit more of a battle, let's say it like that, but I managed to come out on top and it sends us to a breaker. Now on this breaker, I can't lie, I was pretty nervous. I haven't obviously played a match in quite a few weeks, especially obviously on the clay. So I think I became a little bit too passive in this tie break, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but I think it meant that my opponent was able to dictate a little bit more and I didn't really want to let that happen because then he began to get more confidence. And here towards the end of the tie break, there were some really tight points.
And so unfortunately, it didn't go my way. Two close points that are at all going to give me some nightmares. But overall, an okay week to start the clay court season, but I'm looking forward to playing some more. This week, I'm also playing doubles with a very experienced doubles player, Juan Paz from Argentina, who also has a YouTube channel. And let's just say we played some really good doubles. So make sure that you subscribe down below to make sure you don't miss that video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me what to do.